Okay, so per usual, I'm stressing out about packing for a trip. I just got back from Prescott, Arizona. I was staying at Watson Lake, really cool. Now, two days later, I'm headed north. Tonight, I will arrive in Page, Arizona. That's where Horseshoe Bend is in Antelope Canyon, but I'm not sure what's gonna be open. I don't really care. It's just a great stopping point on the way to Salt Lake City, which is my final destination, where I'm gonna hang out with some friends. My house is a disaster because I'm trying to throw everything together, but uh, I'm taking quite a few cameras, the Pentax 67, my Mia 645, and I'm taking my usual Nikon Z6. I've got a Leica 50 Summicron mounted on it, Leica Elmeret F2.8, Leica M6, Leica Summicron 35, S Spherical, and then this is a 35 1.8 Nikon Z lens, yeah. But man, I gotta pack all this crap. I'm taking so much film too, it's ridiculous. Okay, pack all this up, get on the road, let's go. Where this woman was out there at, at uh, running the race. And, uh, this woman was So I found a really cool spot pulled off the side of the road. It's its little um, welcome center. I'm on the reservation. Uh, there's a pull off on the side of the road. It's all this beautiful landscape as well. I mean, I'll show you in some of the B-roll, but wow, it's amazing. Shooting the Pentax 67, the 105 millimeter and Portra 400. I wanna frame it where I get the rock formation in the background, but really want that welcome label to be front and center as long, along with the flag on top. Let's see how we do it. Is there enough space to distance six feet? Yes, yes there is. Holy crap, look at this. The ground is starting to open up. Walking up on this path that was all closed to ground. I was wondering when it was gonna unzip. I guess the river's ahead, probably about a half mile. Okay, Horseshoe Bend, Page, Arizona. This is part of a multi-day trip. I'm heading up to Salt Lake City to hang out with some friends. Definitely wanted to stop here along the way. It's about an 11 hour drive to Salt Lake. This is about four and a half hours into the drive. I've never seen Horseshoe Bend. I lived in Arizona before and I missed a couple of the big monuments and landscapes. So now this is checked off the list. I'm gonna go ahead and say it though. I'm, I'm definitely disappointed. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been to Canyonlands, specifically Dead Horse Point. Very similar formation with the river around like this. And a, it has a way more pronounced point that's flat. It's just way more dramatic because you can see all the canyons. This is just one canyon carved out by the river. While it is amazing, uh, and I'm very fortunate to be in a position where I can just randomly come to places like this. I am kind of disappointed. I expected a little more, but yeah, look at that backdrop. It looks amazing on camera. Video and hopefully film, we'll see. I'm debating whether or not I'm gonna come back for sunset. I may just hit the lake. 
Uh, there's a couple formations there that I think will be impressive at sunset. I don't know how this is going to look at sunset because the sun will be behind right into camera, putting the entire valley uh, canyon into a shadow. So we'll see. All right, guys, I'm going to hike around. Okay, so scouting's done. Um, super cloudy. I'm trying, also trying to decide where I should be for sunset. So scouting's done with this area. I don't know if I'm gonna have a wide enough lens to capture it. Of course, I can stitch images together, but that's not what I wanna do, but I will if I have to. Now I'm gonna go to Powell Lake. There's some stone formations in the lake. And then I'll check that out and determine if I wanna go there for sunset. So is it gonna be here for sunset? Or will be at the lake for sunset. I don't know. I mean, most people would be like, absolutely come to Horseshoe Bend for sunset, but the sun is going to set behind the bend, filling the canyon with shadows. Big concern. So let's check out the lake. What an amazing place. God, it's so amazing. Unfortunately, the dam is closed. So you can't do any dam tours, but you can still take dam pictures and dam video. Get it? So I'm out scouting a spot for sunset. Been doing that all day. And uh, I went out a little lighter this morning. I actually only brought the Leica. I was gonna bring the Z6 so I could take digitals and review them later to really determine where I wanna be. But you know what? I'm finding more and more that I don't care about the quality of the image. It's the experience of taking it and how obtrusive it is. So I just grab my M6 all the time. And I'll be honest, I had a, my first digital camera was a Nikon D3200 with the kit lens. And I think it took better photos than this Leica with the Leica lens. But that's not what it's about for me. I don't care about the, the most amazing, technically perfect computer generated image. I want to be inspired to pick up the damn camera and shoot it. And the M6 just gets out of my way. The two arrows point together. I got perfect exposure, let's go. You know, I don't gotta worry about a screen reviewing it. Let's just shoot. And with this 35 on it, it's such a small package. It's so easy. I just throw it over my shoulder. I've been beating the shit out of this camera too, and it just takes it. I love that. Oh, heck no. No, no. <laughs> 